way back in 1968, just five years after Kenya became independent, history was made in this East African country. Twelve schools gathered at Kagumu High School in Nyeri, and through the support of conservationists, they managed to form the Wildlife Clubs of Kenya. WCK is the longest running grassroots school based conservation education organization in Africa. The Wildlife Clubs of Kenya uses schools as an entry point to the community. Don't you know that she's a part of environments? Take great care! Formation of WCK was in such a time when Kenya's wildlife needed urgent attention. A time had come to give Kenya's school youth a chance to learn and to participate in wildlife and environmental conservation, which is the very goal of Wildlife Clubs of Kenya. In those early years, the Wildlife Clubs of Kenya's conservation efforts were immediately witnessed through anti-poaching petitions that forced a government ban on game hunting in 1977. Today, the Wildlife Clubs of Kenya, through its well-established grassroots network, has continued to spearhead the much-needed conservation education programs in Kenya. Apart from its headquarters in Nairobi, WCK has six other regional education centers countrywide. The Wildlife Clubs of Kenya is a national, non-governmental organization with a vision to empower Kenyans with conservation knowledge for sustainability. In order to do this, we implement various programs. For example, snaring programs, tree growing initiatives, campaigns, lobbies, waste management, water and energy conservation activities. The WCK Mobile Education Unit is a full equipped program that takes conservation education to schools in far-flung areas of the country. During such visits, the WCK mobile education officers address pertinent conservation issues through talks, discussions, film screening, and institution of activities. An average of 80,000 school children and 500 schools benefit from the mobile education unit every year. In Kenya, this is the only program that takes conservation education to the highest number of school youth in any given year. Schools are guided to form wildlife clubs during the visits. Some of the membership benefits include a chance to conserve wildlife and environment in Kenya and members have a chance to use WCK hostels and facilities at an affordable rate. I would like to thank the Wildlife Clubs of Kenya for having time and chance to visit our school. I would also like to urge the other schools in Kenya to join the Wildlife Club because it's helping and it helps us conserve our environment. And it's not just the awareness education. Conservation activities are widely initiated by WCK members countrywide. Such include tree planting to create more wildlife habitats and combat challenges like climate change. Other activities include campaigns against poaching and bushmeat, conservation rallies, recycling and waste management, energy saving initiatives, desnaring campaigns, workshops and training, cleanup activities, marking global conservation days, among others. It's the Wildlife Clubs of Kenya's annual art and essay competition, giving an opportunity to the school youth to communicate their opinion and perceptions about conservation issues, all about nurturing talents and creativity. The winners are gifted a variety of presents, including a free sponsored tour to Kenya's parks. Information is power, so school youth also need to access information 
that they can easily understand at their level. This is why WCK produces Comba magazine. Comba refers to the lesser bush baby as symbol of the wildlife clubs of Kenya. The magazine has been in production since 1969, making it the longest running free conservation publication for the Kenyan youth. Comba has evolved into a stunning full color magazine with three different issues produced every year and sent to schools. The Wildlife Clubs of Kenya programs are much needed today than ever before. Statistics have proven that Kenya's economy is natural resource driven with a large number of Kenyan communities directly depending on natural resources to sustain their livelihoods. Hence, the need for public conservation education. Over 60% of Kenya's population comprise of the youth. They are the tomorrow's custodians of our natural resources and need more conservation information and involvement. These young Kenyans spend most of their time in schools, which the Wildlife Clubs of Kenya targets in its education programs. Challenges ranging from loss of habitat, climate change, human wildlife conflict, amongst others, will only be addressed by an empowered society who understand how their survival depends on nature and who can make informed decisions on natural resource use Conservation education is therefore important. It's no doubt that the Wildlife Clubs of Kenya has made tremendous achievements. 90% of the people who are currently involved in conservation-related work in the country claim to have been members of Wildlife Clubs during their school days. Most of the rangers and wardens who are working at the Kenya Wildlife Service also say that they discovered their conservation career path through membership of the wildlife clubs of Kenya. Since its formation, WCK has had a cordial working relations with its key partner, the Kenya Wildlife Service. WCK members enjoy a reduced entry charge to Kenya's national parks thanks to KWS. Through this benefit, hundreds and thousands of Kenyan school youth have a rare opportunity to explore the country's wildlife heritage and appreciate outdoor learning. The partnership has also involved undertaking joint conservation activities around many protected areas, especially in tree planting, outreach education programs, anti-poaching campaigns, amongst others. Supporting WCK programs is a key conservation step to a country's future. It all starts today. It all starts with the Kenya's youth. It all starts with the Wildlife Clubs of Kenya.